One more topic before I get to the issue of jobs. We have a big problem with governments and democracies in many countries. The internet has not had a big positive impact on government and it's created some big problems in some democratic countries. When I wrote The Digital Economy, I hoped the internet would bring us together. And certainly good things have happened. I can FaceTime with my grandchildren from Korea to Toronto. But the internet also led to something called a fragmentation of public discourse. There's no one newspaper that everybody reads now. There are millions of newspapers. There's no trusted one trusted news television network. There are tens of millions of television networks. And in a country like the United States, this means that people can follow their own point of view. And they can listen to people who create false information and believe them. And this has created a massive social problem in the country where democracy is now being threatened. How do you stay informed as a young person? Well, I was talking to someone and she was 15 years old and I said, how do you follow the news? And she said, I don't. She said, if the news is important, it will find me. She said that to me years ago and I thought it was very cool at the time. Now I don't. You need to follow the news because if you let the news inform you, you're going to listen to, you know, Kim Kardashian or BTS or something. Let me leave you with one very big idea. As a young person, you need to design your life the way that previous generations never did. You need to design your career, yes, but maybe there are new options. Maybe you could be an entrepreneur. Or maybe you want to do postgraduate studies after university. Design your vocation. You also need to design your media diet. You can spend all your time on social media getting garbage, or you can decide, I'm going to become an informed citizen who cares about my country and about what's happening in the world. As part of that, you need to design your BS detectors, meaning your ability to understand what is truthful and what is not. Because there's so much material now on the internet that is not truthful. You need to design your network. I didn't have to do that when I was young. I had a friend live next door. I met some people at university. Most of you have hundreds or thousands of friends. Who are the ones that you really want to spend time with? 